All right. Uh, what is your opinion on the anti-vaccine, anti-vaxxer movement and the measles outbreak in New York City? Are the mandatory vaccines justified? I mean, this is a complex issue. I mean, I, I mean, generally, I think the anti-vaccines, uh, from everything I've seen, from everything I know, it, it is not based on science. So that the that the that the, 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 the while they might be some negative side effects to anti-vaccines, to, to sorry to vaccines, the benefits way outweigh. Uh, the, 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 the negatives of it. On the other hand, I also find it troubling that the government has an ever-increasing list of vaccines that they force children to take. I, you know, I, I don't think the government is responsible for the health of children, and therefore I don't think the government should be dictating, uh, you, you know, the, the kind of level and the extent of the vaccine. I mean, I wasn't vaccinated against a lot of these childhood diseases because the vaccines didn't exist. So I had the childhood diseases. They're unpleasant. The, you know, I remember being taken to, in a sense, chickenpox parties to, to meet people who had chickenpox so I would get it because getting it as a child w was viewed as, as far less damaging than getting it as an adult, which I think is right. Uh, so, um, so I can understand, so, so a lot of these childhood diseases are not life-threatening and are not absolute disasters, particularly if you get them as kids versus if you get them as adults. So I think that where the government should intervene is, is in contagious diseases that are clearly life-threatening. Um, now, everything would be simpler if we had private property and if we had private schools. Because you can imagine that in a private school system, the school would say, here are the vaccination requirements. You don't meet them. You don't go in the school. And I think 99.9% .9 of schools would do that. And parents would know if they sent their kids to a school that didn't have that requirement that their kids were taking a risk because they wouldn't hang out with other kids. Now, what about playgrounds? Well, I don't see any reason why playgrounds couldn't have the same basic deal. Playgrounds would be private after all. And you could have a sign outside of the playground that said this playground is for vaccinated kids only. And I think that would be rational and the right thing to do. I mean, the real danger with not vaccinating, not vaccinating your kids is that your own kid gets sick. And then the second danger is that some kids who cannot be vaccinated because they are sick or because they have some constraining factor that doesn't allow them get doesn't allow them to be vaccinated get exposed to or immigrants who might not have been vaccinated in their home countries get exposed to it. But again, I think a lot of that is taken care of through uh, the schools. I think the schools are the primary place in which these kind of viruses get. Um, transmitted from one to the other. And I think the solution there is to privatize the schools. Short of privatizing the schools, I, I, I still, I, I think the government gets to decide what the government decides because they are the equivalent of the owners of the schools. They get to decide what the curriculum is and they do get to decide what the curriculum is. They certainly have, a, have the ability to decide what to do in terms of vaccination policies uh, with these schools. So. I think I think it should be done in the schools. I think it should be clear that unvaccinated kids should not be playing in a playground. And if a, an unvaccinated kid is in the playground, they they should be liable for a lawsuit. If if my kid, uh, you know, gets gets infected, some vaccines don't work a hundred percent on some children. So there should be mechanisms in place to, on the one hand leave people free not to vaccinate the kids and on the other hand have them pay the consequences pay the price of not vaccinating the kids for example not being able to get into school uh and uh and and you know things like that right um not being able to play in the playground uh you know it's it's one of those things that should uh that should be um common 
uh, in a world like that, you'd expect it to be common to ask, you know, before play date to ask the parent of the kids what the kid vaccinated. I, now, my view is in a rational world, almost all the parents would vaccinate their kids because, again, I think the benefits way outweigh the costs. If you look at all the, the, the scientific research I've seen that, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying vaccines a hundred percent safe. I'm not saying that they that they they don't have they don't have potential downsides, but in comparison to the benefits, I you know I think there's no there's no question.